Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi there. How are you today? Good? Alright. Uh, let's talk about a different example of a testative paragraph. In the previous video, I have shown you an example of a descriptive paragraph with a topic of a person, a nick. And this video will take a different topic, that is a place. We are going to show you uh, the example and again we are going to analyze the paragraph into different uh, language features, different uh, structure of the paragraph. All right, let's have a look at this example. Okay? Yeah, over here. All right, you can see in the monitor that the paragraph which has the title The Beach in Hawaii, yeah, it has three elements as the structure of the descriptive paragraph. The first one is the identification, then the description, the description, the last is conclusion. Let's have a look at the paragraph over here. Okay. When we analyze it into the generic structure, we can easily find that the identification of the paragraph is a beach in Hawaii. It doesn't mention the name of the beach, but this is one of the beaches in Hawaii. Still, it introduces the topic to the reader. That's why it belongs to identification. The next is the description. All right. The description here, as you can see, it describes about the quality of the place. If you read uh, one line to the other, beach smells fresh like a new ocean air freshener. This is one of the qualities. And it, it also one of the descriptions, the detail in describing the beach. The second, the sand is so hot that when you walk on it after the sea, you feel like you walk on a burning grill. This is also a sentence which tells you about the quality of one detail that is sand yeah, one of the elements of the beach, sand, yeah, in the topic of a beach in Hawaii. So it tells about how the sand feels. Yeah. All right. And then, not far from the shore, you can see the palm trees. So this is telling about the surrounding of the beach. And that is also one of the description of the beach. It tells about how it looks like on the surrounding. It tells you that not, fra not, from, uh, not far from the shore, you can see the palm trees. They sway in the air from the strong wind. Yeah, this is how it looks like when the wind blows to the trees. And it makes very good detail of the description. In a distance, uh, there is a beautiful house by the water. So, you can see the navy blue ocean every day. You can easily find that this also belongs to the detail of the beach, which focuses on the surrounding elements of the beach. Yeah, this, this is a very good example of a description of the beach. So whenever you write about your own beach, for example, you want to write about Parang Prites Beach, if you want to write about um, New Beach in Kulon Progo, yeah, uh, then remember that you can focus on the details, the descriptions of the beach based on the sand 
and the surroundings of the beach. Probably there are trees. You can also write about the trees which grows around the beach. What kind of trees, how they look like, how tall are they, yeah? uh, the color of the leaves, uh, those kinds of details. And if there are buildings on the beach, you can also write them down as the details of the description. Yeah. For example, what kind of building? Uh, is it houses? Uh, is it um, apartment? Is it hotel? Yeah, those kinds of um, details that you can write in the description. And the last is the conclusion. Remember, once again, that conclusion is optional, but this paragraph, the paragraph that I uh, write here, that I take for the example over here, also has the conclusion. To sum up, this speech is an amazing place for a perfect summer holiday. So, summarizing from the points above, then you make a conclusion, you conclude that this place is a perfect place for a holiday and you can put them or put the sentence as the conclusion of your paragraph all right so that is one of the examples with a topic of a place thank you for watching see you some other times assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh